just tell me the story of a failure and then even big or small and the lesson you learned from it. Yeah. So, uh, okay. So one, I guess, I don't know why this one's popping in my head, but I remember after I tore my ACL the first time, so like I said, it was like six month a year recovery and I was working really hard doing everything they said to do. And it was, you know, painful and frustrating, cost a lot of money, just an inconvenience in my life. And I remember they were like, you're going to be a little different when you come back. Like they, like even athletically and everything. And I just would not accept that. It was like, no, I'm going to be the same. I'm going to be better. I'm going to be dunking a basketball. And I was like going all out when I got better. I was really, really working for that. And then I ended up tearing my ACL again. Um, and it was actually at a faculty basketball game in front of like the whole uh, student population. But I was like, I don't know, maybe my third year teaching. And I remember, and it wasn't even a hard play, but before that I was warming up. I was like jumping up and hanging on the rim and like doing everything, just trying to be as athletic I could maybe show off a little bit. And uh, then I tore my ACL in, our, in front of everyone. So I guess the moral of the story from that one was that I have my time to shine. <laughs> like <laughs> it's over. I was okay. You know, it wasn't like I was an all-star, but it's like, I'd rather focus on other things than I would try to be a pickup all pick up basketball all-star. And I think yeah. if I hadn't had my knee surgeries, I'm like pretty confident I'd still be at the YMCA like as many times I could a week trying to like relive high school glory days and prove what I could have been. And like, yeah, that would be what my whole thinking would be about. And I never would have discovered any of this stuff with writing or really explored with art. So I think maybe the lesson in that is like, sometimes you kind of got to let go. Yeah. Like it's time, you know, you it's, it's all right. And like shift, shift places. Yeah, no, that's good. I also think of too, like you, to me, you did everything right. Like mentally you were going to come back physically, you were putting all the work in, but at the end of the day, like it just, it happened again. So I think that's, uh, you can, it's almost like, I feel like I've learned it maybe in investing in business too. Like you can make all the right decisions, all the right moves. And sometimes it still just doesn't work out and it doesn't yeah. make sense. And sometimes you can make a wrong decision and it works out. And I think that's the battle or the internal battle of like, well, I made all these correct decisions. Why is my life not perfect? Why am I not? Why are, why are things not working out yet? Yes. So I think that's an interesting takeaway from that story too. It's like, you can do everything right mentally. You can be there. I, I remember you going through that and I remember uh, you did a lot of things right. And then when it happened again, it just sucks. It's just crushing. It's the other good thing about it too, is that it gives you empathy for other people. Because if you've That's never cool. experienced that, you just have this idea when you see someone who's suffering or going through something, it's kind of like, just pick yourself up, man. Why are, you, why are you being soft? Why are you doing that? But then you realize like stuff happens you can't control and it happens to all of us. It's, it's an, It hits everybody different ways, but it's a good lesson to learn and it gives yeah. you a lot more empathy. 